Hello, I'm Ashley James. I'm a hypnotherapist and author and patron of Anxiety UK. Welcome to Hypno SOS, short hypnosis sessions to help you get through the day. There are lots to choose from with different subjects from stress management, reducing anxiety, better sleep and many more. Each episode is around 15 minutes long, containing relaxation and lots and lots of positive but different suggestions each week. If you haven't listened before, please take note of the following instructions. If not, you can skip forward to the chimes where the session will begin. Find a time and a place where you can be as undisturbed as possible. You can sit down or lie down, it really doesn't matter which, as long as you can be comfortable. Use headphones. It really does improve the experience. If anyone or anything disturbs you while you are listening, you'll deal with it. Close your eyes again. Take three deep breaths and you can continue from where you left off. It is important for you to know that you are and you remain in control throughout the session and that you do not do anything else while listening to the hypnosis, especially not driving. Finally, you can learn more about me, MP3s I offer on different subjects from phobias through smoking to anxiety and weight loss on my website. You'll also find my books and there's access to a free online self-hypnosis course there. Just go to UrsulaJames.com And if you have any suggestions for future sessions, make sure to put them in your review. Thank you. Time now to relax and enjoy this week's episode of Hypno SOS. In this week's Hypno SOS, I'm going to go back to a popular perennial motivation. Sit down or lie down. Close your eyes. Allow your shoulders to relax. And make yourself as comfortable as possible. This is your time. Nothing else matters. Take a deep peaceful breath. And as you let it go, allow the sensation of peace, of warmth, of slowly relaxing muscles to spread all the way through from your chest, through your shoulders and your arms, through your torso and your legs, through your neck, jaw, tongue, every muscle of your face and deep, deep into your skull. And now your gradually deepening breath to flow through you. Be conscious of your breathing and all it does for you. This deeply unconscious process that happens even when you're asleep. So you forget about it, just trusting your unconscious mind to make this happen. So no matter what you're thinking or doing, feeling or experiencing, your unconscious mind continues to keep you safe, keep you breathing, and many, many other things. But just for a moment, and in these moments, Focus on your breath. Notice that 
at the top of your breath, there is a moment of pause. And at the bottom of your breath, there is the same moments of stillness among the movement. And yet, there is nothing for you to do to make it happen. But as you breathe consciously and are aware of it, you can notice something. Notice that in these moments, your breathing has changed. It has deepened as you relax all the way through relax and as you continue to go ever deeper and deeper relaxed you may take a moment to wonder what has this got to do with motivation well, I'll tell you, in these moments of peace, without thought or action, you can make and strengthen your connection between the part of you that is conscious and aware, and the part of you that is unconscious and controls so many functions. And in acknowledging this connection, in strengthening this connection, you can and you will grow in motivation by understanding something very profound. That there is a part of you that you never even think of, that knows so much, is able to do so many things so much so that you forget about it, forget about your ability to read or ride a bike or so many, many things that you've learnt through the years that you've forgotten that you've learnt. And yet, by making this connection, you can and you will Bring both sides of your mind to bear on creating motivation for something new that you want to do or something that's been around for a while but you've not really got around to doing. For in acknowledging that there is a very deep and significant part of you that is so motivated, it does everything it needs to do without you even thinking that you can and you will in making this connection recognize that you are able to do so much and that in knowing this you can grow in confidence to be motivated, to do more, to learn more, to be more, to make changes, to motivate yourself to feel better about life, to motivate yourself to recognize what you're already capable of doing, to motivate yourself to understand that around you there is a whole world to explore, whether it's through your eyes or your ears, through touch, through laughter, and all of these things increases your motivation to do more, to be more, to take every single day and make it the best that it can possibly be by changing your expectations, by believing in yourself, 
by understanding and recognizing that you are already strong, already capable, already able. And this can and will motivate you to change, to take control, to action that thing that you haven't actioned. Motivate you to recognize that you are quite special and you deserve more. Make it a rule for the day to push yourself a little more, a little further, a little differently. For you can take control just as you have in myriad many ways you can consciously make the decision and your unconscious mind can and will help you to motivate you to make things happen and just for a moment I'll give you a little space of silence to think about what that one change might be today. One thing you're going to motivate yourself to do or think or be. For you are strong. You can make choices. You have already taken control. Simply by listening. And deciding which aspects of these moments you will take on board. You are in control and can already feel that little vibration of motivation flowing through you. Enjoy it. It can make you smile. It will make you stronger. And you will see and hear and feel things differently. And being motivated becomes a habit. And when it's a habit, guess where it goes? Straight into the unconscious part of your mind where it just flows. And you no longer need to think of it. And in a few moments in time... In a few moments in time, you will hear me count from one to ten, and at the count of eight, your eyes will naturally and easily open, and at the count of ten, you can and you will be fully wide awake, feeling strong, feeling better, feeling more optimistic too, and definitely feeling motivated. So ready. One. Two. Three, more aware. Four, five, six, more alert. Seven, eight, eyes open, wide open. Nine, and ten, fully wide awake. Rest for a moment before you get up and do what you need to do. Thank you for listening to this week's Hypno SOS. Please, as always, I'm going to ask you to be kind enough to leave a review. It does help other people find the podcast and it's really nice for me to read what you put there. 